First of all, we're going to take a look at the text of our circle program and what this in the Simultron text editor here will do is this program will calculate the diameter, area, and circumference of a circle if we give the program a radius. Notice the syntax up front here. We say that we want to import the java.utility.util.scanner and so that is the imported class that we want to use throughout the program so that's done right up front. Then we identify our public class. We're going to call this circle. Then we have our all-important required public static void main statement to identify the arguments of our main uh, class. Then we get into the specifics of this program. The scanner class uses the input statement to get us a system in so that the user can enter data. Then we identify the variable radius. Then we are going to prompt the user to enter a radius with our system out, system dot out dot print statement. All right, so that'll prompt the user, and then whatever the user enters at that prompt will be identified as the variable radius. So whatever number. Then based on that input, whatever number, whether it's a single digit number, double digit number, what have you, the system will then use that number to calculate certain things and it's going to do this with system out print f statement so it's going to be formatted text in other words you know properly spaced text in this example so it's going to give the user the diameter and the diameter is going to be based on this mathematical expression here two times radius or two r if we remember our geometry then it goes down to calculate the area of the circle and here it is going to use the math.pi method and math.pi will use the number pi and it will multiply that by the radius and then it's going to multiply that by the radius again in other words 2 pi r it's going to square the radius multiply the radius by itself and then multiply it by pi and that will give us the area of the circle and then for the circumference it will use 2 pi r as we see in this statement 2 times math.pi times the radius and that will give us the circumference of the circle then at the end of the program we've got our end braces and curly q brackets to end the main class and to end the circle class. All right, let's see if we can run this program in the DOS prompt. All right, so here we've got our terminal prompt. In a Windows system it would be called the DOS prompt. On a Mac system you use terminal. And when we identify this program, the first thing that we're going to need to do is compile the code. So we are going to, now that Java file is saved in our folder, in our Java folder on our hard drive. If I bring that folder up, you can see that the circle.java file is located there. When I go to my command prompt, and we want to say Java C, in other words, Java compile, space, circle.java. Remember that when you're compiling code, you always have to make sure that the extension is included, otherwise it'll give you an error. So we say that we want to compile the Java program or the Java text file, circle.java. When I hit enter, it compiles the code, it returns me the command prompt indicating that the compile has been completed successfully, and now when I bring back my window, you can see that the circle.java file is still there, but also the circle.class file is still there. So that's what's happening when we compile the code. It converts that text file, .java, to a .class file. Now that class file can actually be run here at the command prompt. All right, now if I want to run that program, we say we want to run it in Java, so we say Java circle and when you run the program you do, you do not need to use the full file extension we just say java space circle and when i run it it prompts us enter a radius all right i'm going to enter three and hit enter all right it runs successfully it gives us the diameter of the circle six so that's you know twice the radius it gives us the area 28.27 some odd units and the circumference 18.84 some odd units 
and the program is run successfully. Let's try this one more time. If I say Java circle and hit enter, prompts us for the radius. Let's test this. I just want to enter a radius of one, one unit. Hit enter. Diameter is two, twice the radius. The area is pi itself, 3.141593. So we know that it's doing successfully. The circumference is 2 pi r, 6.28 and some odd units. So we have, we have been successful with our compilation and running the program. It handles the input. It gives us back the information that we are expecting.